allergies. Some people ignore it, some people don't. Those who don't, they know that allergies, it is one of the first symptoms that some more serious diseases are knocking the door. It's a matter of time when they arrive. What is the problem with why half of the population, statistically speaking, in the civilized world develop allergies? There is quite few reasons why we create the immunological chaos in our bodies, why we promote inflammations in our body. Inflammations which are the first stage of any disease development we may think of. Allergies, generally speaking, when you talk, go to a physician to check what I am allergic to, what I, am, uh, what I do not tolerate, first upon most of the time the allergies are because we eat unfortunately manipulated food. We live in a very polluted environment. And, unfortunately, we do not specifically point out at the uh, uh, physician's office uh, the type of allergen we may be affected by. The so-called scratch tests, they are most of the time useless because allergy can show its symptoms even after 48 hours or even few days. So we cannot pinpoint uh, exactly what allergen or antigen we do not tolerate. We check immunoglobulins, whichever they are, but we do not check these who are the most important to be checked, heavy metals and obviously other chemicals, even those who are hidden in the cosmetics we use on a daily basis. We forget that skin absorbs them on a daily basis as well and affects our immunological response to antigens weakens us. Unfortunately, we are weakened. That's why the one of the reasons we do not tolerate uh, uh, antigens, which many years ago didn't cause any problem to humans. The most important thing talking about allergies is to check zinc, for example. What's the level of zinc I have? Which is the most pivotal, pivotal uh, element uh, deciding about our immunological strengths. I would also uh, recommend if we want to get rid of allergy, whatever the reason behind is, to check upon these and others, like for example, electrolytes. If we have here problem with electrolytes, sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, we be doing whatever is necessary. Avoiding antigens, it's a one way, but, well, life is tough. Sometimes we cannot get rid of allergens which are in the air, water and the food. So, therefore, my recommendation would be, let's, uh, besides whatever we do, to, to try to get rid of 
antigens, don't forget about checking the levels of our electrolytes, which are very important in the processes uh, uh, of uh, developing allergies, look, prevent them. This is the first step, not to forget. It is first step because, as I mentioned before, allergies, it's the first symptom of something serious to come in a time. And it's no matter, whatever we're going to do, if we do not this step by step, uh, uh, activities, we may suffer from allergy and accept it as a part of our life. That's a wrong approach. Immunological cells induced by any given antigen is causing uh, uh, a lot of uh, immunological, not only, biochemical imbalances. We are weakened by it. We are less and less uh, having, uh, being exposed to any given antigen. We are simply day by day are weakened and we are prone to develop any so-called serious disease. Therefore, it is very important to find what is, what weakens me. It is very important to look into, in, into the body, well inside, and see what I'm lacking, what I am uh, uh, loaded with, what weakens me. And the only way to find out is to check, to do the hair analysis in order to correct it. That's one, again, first step to prevent and treat allergies.